Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a naturalistic home for your queen ants. Let's get started. To make this setup, you will need some sand or soil or other substrate like that. I have personally mixed both together and a jar um, or something else like that. Uh, I'm just using this um, jam jar but it's up to you. You may also want a pipette and some water, but again, up to you. So, we're going to start by pouring our chosen substrate, in my case, again, sand and soil that I'd mixed um, before starting this, into the jar. So, it will make a bit of a mess, so I would recommend doing it somewhere like not on the carpet because that's going to go wrong maybe outside or some, somewhere like that um and i also recommend you use a funnel like this paper one that i'm using here although i kind of forgot to use it at first but oh well and also once you have poured it all in now you want to design it so there's a few ways you could design it firstly you could design it so that there is a slightly lower area at the front and a higher area at the back. This means that it's more visible from where you're looking at it if you're looking at it this like this way around. The other way you could do it is make it completely flat and that way if the queen decides to nest on the other side you can still see most of it. So, the choice is yours. That way, next we are going to add moisture. The queen will like it, so make sure you do this step. She will also be able to drink from it, like she would in the wild. How much moisture you add will be dependent on the species. If you have a species that really likes it being really moist and humid inside their nest you want to add more and vice versa finally you will want to make a little starting tunnel for her so that she can start making a nest in there now it is finally time to bring in the queen this one is going to be for one of my queens that i caught in my nuptial flights video um which you can check out if you would like to um so yeah if your queen doesn't seem to want to move in you can do what i'm doing here and get her onto the end of the pencil and then just gently put the pencil into the jar she will eventually crawl in and you can remove the pencil and add the lid Bear in mind that if you're using the lid that came with the jar like I am, you will need to take it off every so often to let some air in. Now let's watch and see what she does. First, she frantically runs around, trying to make sense of where she is. But she eventually slows down and looks for a new place to nest. I have put her next to another queen, which I'm also keeping in one of these setups. This one has had a bit of a head start i put her in as of filming i put her in yesterday um and she's already made her little claustral chamber you can see it outlined in blue there so yeah let's so i'll be sure to keep you updated where if they lay eggs or anything i will definitely let you know and as always i will see you in the next video bye